Chemical Polarity, Wikipedia Article Audio In chemistry, polarity is a separation of electric charge leading to a molecule or its chemical groups having an electric dipole or multipole moment. Polarity of Bonds Classification Polarity of Molecules Polar Molecules Nonpolar molecules, amphiphilic molecules, predicting molecule polarity, electrical deflection of water. Polar molecules must contain polar bonds due to a difference in electronegativity between the bonded atoms. A polar molecule with two or more polar bonds must have a geometry which is asymmetric in at least one direction so that the bond dipoles do not cancel each other. Polar molecules interact through dipole-dipole intermolecular forces and hydrogen bonds. Polarity underlies a number of physical properties including surface tension, solubility, and melting and boiling points. Not all atoms attract electrons with the same force. The amount of pull an atom exerts on its electrons is called its electronegativity. Atoms with high electronegativities such as fluorine, oxygen, and nitrogen exert a greater pull on electrons than atoms with lower electronegativities such as alkali metals and alkaline earth metals. In a bond, this leads to unequal sharing of electrons between the atoms as electrons will be drawn closer to the atom with the higher electronegativity. Because electrons have a negative charge, the unequal sharing of electrons within a bond leads to the formation of an electric dipole, a separation of positive and negative electric charge. Because the amount of charge separated in such dipoles is usually smaller than a fundamental charge, they are called partial charges, denoted as delta plus and delta. These symbols were introduced by Christopher Kelk Ingold and Edith Hilda Ingold in 1926. The bond dipole moment is calculated by multiplying the amount of charge separated and the distance between the charges. These dipoles within molecules can interact with dipoles in other molecules, creating dipole-dipole intermolecular forces. Bonds can fall between one of two extremes being completely nonpolar or completely polar. A completely nonpolar bond occurs when the electronegativities are identical and therefore possess a difference of zero. A completely polar bond is more correctly called an ionic bond, and occurs when the difference between electronegativities is large enough that one atom actually takes an electron from the other. The terms polar and nonpolar are usually applied to covalent bonds, that is, bonds where the polarity is not complete. To determine the polarity of a covalent bond using numerical means, the difference between the electronegativity of the atoms is used. Bond polarity is typically divided into three groups that are loosely based on the difference in electronegativity between the two bonded atoms. According to the Pauling scale, Pauling based this classification scheme on the partial ionic character of a bond, which is an approximate function of the difference in electronegativity between the two bonded atoms. He estimated that a difference of 1.7 corresponds to 50% ionic character, so that a greater difference corresponds to a bond which is predominantly ionic. As a quantum mechanical description, Pauling proposed that the wave function for a polar molecule ab is a linear combination of wave functions for covalent and ionic molecules, psi equals a psi plus b psi. The amount of covalent and ionic character depends on the values of the squared coefficients a2 and b2. While the molecules can be described as polar covalent, nonpolar covalent, or ionic, this is often a relative term, with one molecule simply being more polar or more nonpolar than another. However, 
the following properties are typical of such molecules. A molecule is composed of one or more chemical bonds between molecular orbitals of different atoms. A molecule may be polar either as a result of polar bonds due to differences in electronegativity as described above, or as a result of an asymmetric arrangement of nonpolar covalent bonds and non-bonding pairs of electrons known as a full molecular orbital. A polar molecule has a net dipole as a result of the opposing charges from polar bonds arranged asymmetrically. Water is an example of a polar molecule since it has a slight positive charge on one side and a slight negative charge on the other. The dipoles do not cancel out resulting in a net dipole. Due to the polar nature of the water molecule itself, polar molecules are generally able to dissolve in water. Other examples include sugars, which have many polar oxygen-hydrogen groups and are overall highly polar. If the bond dipole moments of the molecule do not cancel, the molecule is polar. For example, the water molecule contains two polar OH bonds in a bent geometry. The bond dipole moments do not cancel so that the molecule forms a molecular dipole with its negative pole at the oxygen and its positive pole midway between the two hydrogen atoms. In the figure each bond joins the central O atom with a negative charge to an H atom with a positive charge. The hydrogen fluoride, HF, molecule is polar by virtue of polar covalent bonds and the covalent bond electrons are displaced toward the more electronegative fluorine atom. Ammonia, NH3, molecule The three NH bonds have only a slight polarity. The molecule has two lone electrons in an orbital, that points towards the fourth apex of the approximate tetrahedron. This orbital is not participating in covalent bonding, it is electron-rich, which results in a powerful dipole across the whole ammonia molecule. In ozone molecules, the two OO bonds are nonpolar. However, the distribution of other electrons is uneven since the central atom has to share electrons with two other atoms but each of the outer atoms has to share electrons with only one other atom, the central atom is more deprived of electrons than the others. Since the molecule has a bent geometry, the result is a dipole across the whole ozone molecule. When comparing a polar and nonpolar molecule with similar molar masses, the polar molecule in general has a higher boiling point, because the dipole-dipole interaction between polar molecules results in stronger intermolecular attractions. One common form of polar interaction is the hydrogen bond, which is also known as the H-bond. For example, water forms H-bonds and has a molar mass M equals 18 and a boiling point of plus 100 degrees C compared to nonpolar methane with M equals 16 and a boiling point of 161 degrees C. A molecule may be nonpolar either when there is an equal sharing of electrons between the two atoms of a diatomic molecule or because of the symmetrical arrangement of polar bonds in a more complex molecule. For example, Boron trifluoride has a trigonal planar arrangement of three polar bonds at 120 degrees. This results in no overall dipole in the molecule. Not every molecule with polar bonds is a polar molecule. Carbon dioxide has two polar C equals O bonds, but the geometry of CO2 is linear so that the two bond dipole moments cancel and there is no net molecular dipole moment, the molecule is nonpolar. Examples of household nonpolar compounds include fats, oil, and petrol gasoline. Therefore, most nonpolar molecules are water insoluble at room temperature. Many nonpolar organic solvents, such as turpentine, are able to dissolve nonpolar substances.
In the methane molecule the four CH bonds are arranged tetrahedrally around the carbon atom. Each bond has polarity. However, the bonds are arranged symmetrically so there is no overall dipole in the molecule. The diatomic oxygen molecule does not have polarity in the covalent bond because of equal electronegativity, hence there is no polarity in the molecule. Large molecules that have one end with polar groups attached and another end with nonpolar groups are described as amphiphiles or amphiphilic molecules. They are good surfactants and can aid in the formation of stable emulsions, or blends, of water and fats. Surfactants reduce the interfacial tension between oil and water by adsorbing at the liquid-liquid interface. This amphiphilic molecule has several polar groups on the right side and a long nonpolar chain at the left side. This gives it surfactant properties. A micelle the lipophilic ends of the surfactant molecules dissolve in the oil, while the hydrophilic charged ends remain outside in the water phase, shielding the rest of the hydrophobic micelle. In this way, the small oil droplet becomes water-soluble. Phospholipids are effective natural surfactants that have important biological functions. Cross-section view of the structures that can be formed by phospholipids. They can form a micelle and are a vital in forming cell membranes. Determining the point group is a useful way to predict polarity of a molecule. In general, a molecule will not possess dipole moment, if the individual bond dipole moments of the molecule cancel each other out. This is because dipole moments are Euclidean vector quantities with magnitude and direction, and a two equal vectors who oppose each other will cancel out. Any molecule with a center of inversion or a horizontal mirror plane will not possess dipole moments. Likewise, a molecule with more than one cn axis will not possess dipole moment because dipole moments cannot lie in more than one dimension. As a consequence of that constraint, all molecules with d symmetry will, therefore, not have dipole moment because, by definition, d point groups have two or multiple cn axis. Since c1, CSCHCN and CNV point groups do not have a center of inversion, horizontal mirror planes or multiple CN axis, molecules in one of those point groups will have dipole moment. Contrary to popular misconception, the electrical deflection of a stream of water from a charged object is not based on polarity. The deflection occurs because of electrically charged droplets in the stream, which the charged object induces. A stream of water can also be deflected in a uniform electrical field, which cannot exert force on polar molecules. Additionally, after a stream of water is grounded, it can no longer be deflected. Weak deflection is even possible for nonpolar liquids. Nonpolar bonds generally occur when the difference in electronegativity between the two atoms is less than 0.5. Polar bonds generally occur when the difference in electronegativity between the two atoms is roughly between 0.5 and 2.0. Ionic bonds generally occur when the difference in electronegativity between the two atoms is greater than 2.0.